Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? So today we're going to talk about the character selector screen. And we already created a way to kind of uh, add several characters to a, to a nice little array, right, with this character list. So now we're going to create a state where we can actually choose from these characters that we've created. And uh, to just start off, I just want to one, create one little change here. Character creator state. Let's go in there to CPP. And right here, and then we're going to do print menu. So it's printing out these character thingies. I'm just going to say characters here. Characters. Like that. So it's going to kind of tell us what that number does. So we don't get confused. I just thought about that. It would be a little touch. And uh, so to get started, let's go ahead and right click here on our folder, add a new item, and say C++ class as usual. And we're going to call this character selector state. So you're like, why do we need a state for this? Well, um, um, it's nice. It's good to have. And it makes our life a little easier. Although we have to copy paste some code, it still makes our life a little easier. And we like that. We like when life gets a little easier on us. Uh, so we should just remember that. Shouldn't be a problem. So we have state included here. I want to include uh, character as well. Probably going to include some more stuff. Let's open one of the states. Like, uh, what are we going to need? We're going to need the character list and everything. So, main menu state has all of that stuff. It has all of these beautiful things. Uh, main menu state that H. Let's start here. So, we're going to need all of these. We're going to need all of those into character uh, selector state dot H. Private. Private. There we go. Okay, so these are the private variables, obviously. We're going to need that. We're going to need to include some of these things here. Include stack. And include iostream. I should just copy those, actually. Let me open main menu state.h. I should just copy these iomanip and stack into here. So, like that. And vector as well. Vector. Should be fine. We probably already had that, but it's still good. Yeah, we'll keep that for now. Um, bad includes, just like I said, really horrible. We'll fix that in a separate video, like I always say. And we'll get to that in a bit. Um, and it's a good practice to actually do it from the start. But I'll, I'll, I'll make a video on that. For now, it's a little easier to just focus on what's important. Mm. So there we go. We have our character selector state. Let's copy over some more stuff. Let's copy over all of these parameters from the constructor into this constructor right here. So we have that done. No problems. We have the destructor, which we won't need probably. Uh, let's paste that in here in the CPP file as well, just like we always do. And let us create the initializer list. So state this um, or wait, active character equals active character, and then we'll have character list uh, right here. Character list, character list, like that. So then we initialized everything, and then states, states, state. Uh, states like that. Now I did everything in the initializer list. You don't have to do it, but you can if you want to. So these are the three, thing, three things happening in the initializer list. So we're just initializing all of these beautiful things. Actually, this is the only reference that needs to be in the initializer list. Otherwise, these two, you can initialize them here if you want. But we'll just, we'll just do it this way. It doesn't really matter. And then we have all of these beautiful functions that we need to copy over. So copy those as usual, put them here, like that, and then it's going to want us to uh, paste those, but I'll just open main menu state.cpp, put it here, I'll copy all of these per usual, and right in here, right below here, functions. Man, get the hell out of my life, there we go. Okay, so, again. Copy paste the class names, don't freak out onto all of these functions. 
and we're good and we're good and we're good all right we don't need these obviously we don't need this we're not gonna need any of this this switch case actually uh, like that okay and this is just gonna be character selector there we go and if it's not empty we're gonna print out everything so we're gonna print out everything uh, all the bars and everything so uh, if it's not empty let's keep the else let's remove this let's remove that let's do a some curly braces around these two things uh, this whole statement and then we're gonna do a for loop if it's not empty we're gonna go through this character list dot size we're gonna go through the whole array and we're just gonna do a C out I and then one of these and then uh, this character list at I and then we're gonna do get menu bar because two string would be crazy it would be too much and then we'll make make a little new line right here and then once this is ended we're gonna make a one last new line uh, new line down here and in the else statement we're going to if it's empty we'll say no characters yet uh, see out no characters created and then a new line and another new line boom so there we go now we kind of print them out if we want as we want we'll print all of these out and make it all beautiful let's make a little space before that and let's put a little space before that as well so it looks a little better and there we go there we go that's basically the printing out and then we'll be able to choose get the choice we'll get the choice um, we'll get a choice this in choice equals this get choice okay now we'll get a choice and we'll say if choice is less than zero then we'll probably quit we'll go back this set quit true and then we'll do uh, minus one for going back probably yeah we'll do minus one for going back actually and see out zero no minus one quit back to menu new line and then that new line will lead into all of these and then we could actually make a parentheses we can actually make some parentheses around the I like that mm. like that and then we'll see which character it is okay we'll see how this looks and probably look pretty good there we go so that will set the quit else if choice is greater or equal to zero greater than zero greater equal to zero and less choice is less than this character list size so we're making sure it's within that interval then we'll do the selection this active character equals um choice okay so that will be the active character else see out so if it's greater than character list that size is not within this interval and it's not less than zero that means it's greater than the whole list is size and then we'll say um um error no ch 
cho we'll say choice out of bounds like that and a new line why is that not working there we go and a new line so there we go so now we have our whole update menu thingy look at choice and we'll see what we want to do and when that once that's done let me just think once that's done we should have selected the character and uh, let's see and once that's done We've selected the character and we want to say this set quit true. See out character I to string I. Um, well, that doesn't, we don't need to do that. Character choice selected dot and a new line and another new line so that should look pretty sweet it should look okay so that we just make sure to quit after we select the 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 uh, the character obviously um, so I'm just thinking if this should be fun because this is gonna loop otherwise on and on and on and we don't want to do that we want to select the character and go back to the menu and minus one is back to many, so that kind of feels weird. We, we're probably gonna change everything else to minus one, and have it zero as a, a valid choice. But it's, it, zero is kind of nice and all that. And uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we can we can get back to this. We could get back to this. What we could do is we could just say that uh, we can start at one and we can go up to size and then kind of add a minus one to everything. And then yeah, we could we could. We could play around with it, fiddle around with it later. But for now, this will probably work. Let's just make sure it works. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so main menu state.cpp. Let's go in here. Let's go into print menu. So we can create a character and we can actually select a character. Should we have that on three, maybe? Yeah, we can have that on three. So let me just put that down here remove the semicolon put this down here instead or we can actually have it like that boom and that is two and this is three and this is select character so you can create them and select them perfect close that down update menu add a case case three break copy paste this whole beautiful line right here let's, let's expand that there we go copy paste that so this now we're gonna have to add uh, it in the h file main menu state dot h we're gonna have to add include character selector state go back to the cpp file go down here to case 3 and say character selector state character list active character and states okay okay cool so now we have three three different values let's just run this let's see if it crashes or doesn't doesn't seem to be crashing just yet so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a start game not gonna work three select the character no characters created and a choice minus one if it's no characters create you know what let's just add that functionality um character selector state let's go down let's say let's say this set quit true boom and then we'll run this again and we'll say three well it shouldn't actually let me get a choice Wait, let me see what happened here. Oh, three. Okay, one. No character selected. Interesting. So it did quit me out, but it, it still asked me for the choice. It still asked me for the choice. And where do we get the choice? Right up here. 
Okay, so we set the quit true here. Okay, so if no characters are created, do we print the menu? Well, whatever. It, it's still fine. It's okay for now. Let's just try to see if it works. Let's create a character. Um, new character. Something like that. Let's create a few characters. Let's go back to menu. Let's see. Um, select the character. Okay. Zero. All right. See, we have him selected. Um, create another character. Uh, new character. Let's name him two, just to be sure, like that. Uh, and then we'll create a, another character called three. And then create another character called four. Like that. Back to menu. Whoops. Back to menu. Uh, select the character. All right. So here we got a few characters: two, three, and four. Let's select number one. Now we have number one selected. Let's go into the game. Character menu. Level up this character a little bit. All right, I can't level up anymore. Back to menu. Back to menu. Okay, now I want to grind on another character. So three. Now we can see what characters we have. Let's select number two. So now I have number two selected. Start the game. Um, character menu, level up that character, and then uh, back to menu, quit to main menu, select another character, and there you go. You got a bunch of little characters here. Oh, we can actually, all right, that's cool. All right, number three, let's just see that works. Okay, cool. Works just fine. Works just fine. And this way we can we can play around with the game it feels a lot more like a game now we have a bunch of more menus i hope this was educational i hope you kind of learned something again i'm sorry for the uh copy pasting of the code and everything and you have to do that but if you make states with a uh, scripting code like i said before it's a lot easier so just just bear with me we'll get to that at some point we'll make another tutorial on that but for now this is a good concept of how you can work with states and how they can be different from each other and still kind of work together so it's really good to know how to work with a state machine of this type and there's a lot of files as you can see but you know it's kind of worth it at some point because if i want to change the char character selector state i don't have to change any other code i just go in here and i change all of this code and i will make the state a whole different thing and we'll see that later once we get into some combat states and and something more interesting like that and you'll be like whoa wow this is totally different but it all just works together and it it's a lot easier on a programmer to code in a different state and then it's easier to see where the issue is as well in that state so yeah uh thank you all for watching thanks for the support i hope you learned something keep learning hard go in check the description box if you can bunch of links help support the channel if you want to it helps just by watching obviously it's the best thing you can do thank you so much for that but if you want you can subscribe and like if you don't want to it doesn't matter but thanks anyway and uh, yeah, just go out, check out the links, check other playlists if you want, watch tutorials, read books, you'll be fine. And take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Yep. Bye-bye.